I'm dead. Pot persuadable. So he's by the shore and he's going towards the little shack. Now he's going towards, away from the little shack across. Be careful. Ooh. He's going towards the little boat. So, so mm -hmm. it's, it's one of the things, what you guys just saw there, um, early mm -hmm. game, you saw how I was able to see him, and then I transitioned, instead of going to the little shack, I transitioned mm -hmm. to towards the small boat area, mm -hmm. and I was able to actually hide using the walls. I kind of went into a risky area, and mm -hmm. the ability to hide wasted that hunter's time, because he, he went after me. He went after me in that area. He was using his tomatoes. He couldn't find, he couldn't find me. In the top competitive gameplay, you're seeing a lot of that transition movement. Instead of going to an area where you start decoding right away, sometimes it's easier to just transition away as far as possible because now you're forcing the hunter to waste time catching up to you and then you're going to continue kiting. Whereas if you just go to the little shack, you're actually saving the hunter 15 seconds. He doesn't have to catch up to you. You're just camping inside the little shack. So one of the strategies that I picked up from some of the top Chinese players is they immediately transition as far away from the hunter as possible. Even if they're in a relatively strong area, they transition away all the time. Because it's going to take you an extra 15 seconds to catch up to you. And then by then, you're already transitioned into another area. And so it's something that I caught on to in the Call of Abyss tournament where back in the day, all I would really do is just, you know, decode and kite in whatever area I was in. But in reality, you can buy yourself an extra 15 seconds of kiting by moving as far away from the hunter as possible.
<laughs> it is a spider, and he is by a little shack. I'm taking a gamble here. I'm gonna let him hit me, because I'm gonna transition. Oh, he got me, I thought I was gonna get away, okay. So again, that transitional movement I've been talking about. So I allowed him to hit me because it meant that I could reposition into a stronger part. Is he coming? I thought I could make it. I had the uh, spider web though. Damn it. So again, transitioning away. Good luck, you. Hopefully bought him a little bit of time.